It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason from Denworks. Stan Lee was looking at himself in the in the hubcap. It was so funny. But hey, we've got a 1929 Model A Cabriolet. So the top actually comes down on this one like a uh, convertible because that is what it is. You uh, have probably seen sport coupes and, and stuff, but uh, in 29, they actually started building uh, these cars. And also in 29, a lot of people get confused. If you look here, look at the cowl on it. A lot of people think that that is a 3031 uh, cowl, and it is. It is not. This was precursor to that. So when they started building the Cabriolet, they actually um, invented that cowl and then carried it on the 3031. Um, I've already fielded some questions um, about that. And it's a true story. So, and even so, I believe that myself. <laughs> when I first thought it, I thought, wait, that cow's wrong. And so just like anything, you research. You don't have to know everything. Um, so when you don't know, you just, uh, you don't make it up. You just go ahead and uh, figure it out. So anyway, super cool car. This is probably one of my favorite Model A's I've ever had. I just love the stance. It's kind of a mild hot rod, but it's, it's very original uh, in general. It's just a it's just a neat car. I love it from the rear. It's just it's just killer for sure. And the paint is amazing on it. A uh, guy had had this since the 70s, I guess, and he's had some other other high end cars. And he had this car since the 70s, and then he ended up taking it apart and restoring it. And the frame almost looks the same, except it's been driven underneath a little bit. The frame's paint is extremely nice on it too. The bodywork is amazing. And it's just a really cool car. It's got a uh, Model A motor. The engine is from, I think it's uh, around, um, I'd have to look at my thing, but I think it's July 1929. And the body is, actually it's uh, March 1929 is when the engine was built. And the, and the body and frame and all that stuff was from uh, September 29. So, and it's um, <clears throat> titled off of the frame. And so the engine is, is too early for that. But just so you know, and it's got a speed head two on it, on the, on the head, Model A engine. So uh, it's got a header, just a really cool little car. So I'm gonna do a little walk around here in general. We'll do a little drive and stuff, but it's just killer looking. I could stand here and look at it uh, all day. So if you look at the front, you know, again, all Model A looks good. It's got a Speedway drop front axle on it. You can see that. Um, you can see the chrome shocks. Take a look at the pictures on the auction, but it's it's super clean underneath. I might try to take my camera and kind of go underneath of it so you can see it. But all the chrome bright work looks really 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 good you know the fenders again are really nice and they are steel they're not uh, fiberglass apron is steel as well running boards and everything the wheels are 15 inch you've got 205 70 15s in the front and these are bf goodrich control plus and i think the date code right there is 2006 you can see 06. The color is Washington blue with black fenders and cream wheels. I think the color for Washington blue might be a little a little darker, but I'm not 100%. Um, but really nice. These hubcaps are from the 50s, probably from like a Ford truck, and they're really fitting on here and look good. Look at the bottom of the cowl, bottom of the doors bottom of the quarter panel all this super nice the tire in the back is a 225 75 15 same brand uh, date code on that one i believe 
plus 04. Um, so two different date codes. But just a nice car. We've been driving it around, so it got a little bit of dust on it. Top is really in nice shape. If you look up underneath here, really, really clean and really good job. We'll show you the interior in a minute. It does have a few little chips and a little a couple little things, a little handful, but you can see one little one right there, another one right here, and a couple right there on the edge of the door, on the door edges, you can see right there, just from the door shutting. So just wanted to point those out so you can see them. All the lights work on the outside. You can see here it's got a Ford stamping, but all the lights work. It's all been completely rewired and everything as well. It doesn't start off a spark advance or anything like that anymore. And it's got a gas tank. This one's not being used, but it's got a gas tank in the trunk. The top is really nice. There's one little tiny little snag right there in the front. But the top, top is overall really nice. You see, and it's not really where, it's just where dust has got on it, just on the edge see that but again very very nice top you can just see when car covers sit on it this window actually flips inside you just unsnap those and you flip it in the video I'm not going to put the top down but it is super easy uh, to do there's just two little little things here and you just turn them and it flips up and you loosen right up there you can see there's that little lever and then you just loosen these little things here and then it just goes right back so super easy i'm not going to do it uh, right now so anyways again this fender looks great you know just really clean rear bumper and everything looks good as i mentioned before it's got a header on it uh, you can see the exhaust running out there no rust down here they got rid of the spare we'll take a look in the trunk real quick this car is just cool. It's a very cool car. This is all finished. It doesn't have a rumble seat in it, but it's all finished. It has some dynamite, dynamite, dynamat underneath. Here's where your gas tank is, your filler, and this has all been redone. And when you open the door, it smells like leather, you know, so um, kind of no expense spared on this thing. I mean, they just did. An amazing job on it. Look at down the side. It's just crazy how nice this car is. It's hard to find a Model A that looks like this. Actually, look at the fender. Look at the, re the reflection. You see my Raptor behind there. You know, again, very nice, nice, nice fenders. Nothing wrong inside the bottom of the cab or anything. You'll see a couple little chips just from rubbing. You can see that. You can see those couple little on the door there. But again, it looks looks good. Running boards, everything. Super nice. I'm gonna try. Maybe I can get my camera underneath here, um, so you can kind of see a few things. Might be dark underneath here, but you can kind of see it's pretty clean underneath there. If you can't see this good, I don't know because I'm not on the computer. But look at the photos. You'll see it's nice. I'll show you the other side. <clears throat> I'm getting old. I can't crawl down like that as much. Here's the front end. And it's running hydraulic brakes as well. Let's take a look underneath here. You can see the header. Right at the back of the tail shaft, you can see right there, there's a little leak right behind it, which is leaking a little bit. So you're gonna get some drips on the floor. Really nice floors. One time I was crawling down like that, and Stanley started licking my head. He's over here in the trees hiding out. 
you can see the rear end everything is really clean underneath I'm gonna have Mrs. Denworks help us real fast you might know her as Mrs. D this is your 15 minutes of fame. I've been waiting. So earlier today, we had a Model A out here and she had never started one before or driven one. Next will be a Model T probably. But this one will be a little different uh, for you to start. Okay. And if you wanna check her out on um, Bring a Trailer, mm -hmm. you can check her out on Bring a Trailer. Mm -hmm. The uh, It's Mrs. Denworks and um she sells on there too subscribe along with me. to our listing alerts when you do that you get an email when our auctions go live and it's very helpful because then you have it right in your inbox and you can follow along with what's going on yeah yeah it's just really nice just click our name and do that and then also you can check us out on our website you can check us out on instagram denworks vintage cars just hashtag denworks you can find us we have a podcast and and everything so uh, just having a good time yep. and having a great time. The other thing is too, she has a Macan S and she took it up to the dealer today and they gave her that. It's the Taycan, Taycan 4S. 4S, yeah. All electric Porsche. So that was my first time driving an all electric vehicle today too. Yeah. And then learning how to drive a Model A. Yeah, so I mean it's crazy because this is a 29 and that's probably a 2020. Just all those years, like 70, 80, yeah. 90. 90 years yeah right 90 years so and they still have four wheels electricity and drive it's wild so it's pretty cool and like usual she probably won't let me drive that either yeah we'll see so to start this one it's a three-speed manual um some things that are different which are still there that spark advance that i showed you you mm -hmm. don't have to do anything with that okay and this is still a throttle okay your push button is still on the floor. Mm -hmm. And let me open the door. We didn't want to get the floors dirty, so it does have, we'll go through the interior in a minute. Um, and then you throttle down on the floor still. Mm -hmm. So three speed, just like the other one. This is the choke. So you'll pull that okay. just a little bit probably. These are the lights. And it's only got 20 miles on it mm -hmm. uh, since it was built. Um, oh, it goes pretty far. Yeah, mm-hmm. So, Basically, yeah, just put it in neutral and okay. maybe just you can kick this down just a tiny bit. Okay. Just for throttle. And And it's this one, right? Yeah. And then just pull the coat choke a little bit and we'll see if it starts. And you're in neutral, yeah. 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 Yeah, okay. All right. Let's see. Ready? Yeah. Oh. One thing I didn't tell you. Surprise. Turn the key on. Oh, <laughs> Oh. There. That now it's got does. an electric fuel pump. You can hear that. That does tend to help. Okay. Let's go. We probably flood it. There you go. How about that? It's running. And I pushed the choke back in. I don't know if it's. There you go. Yeah. So it here it is running. Actually runs really smooth. Go ahead and rev it up just a little bit. We'll take a look underneath the hood real fast. Hopefully I can do this with one hand. There we go. Here you can see the engine. It's got a speed head two head on it. Upgraded exhaust, header and uh, intake manifold and it's run a Stromberg, uh, Stromberg cat, or, uh, carburetor. So definitely some upgrades. It's not running on the gauges in there. Um, the oil pressure gauge isn't hooked up. And this is went up a little bit, but on the uh, temp gauge, but it does not get hot. Fuel gauge works, speedometer and everything works too. And the volt meter is what working as well. And it's running at 12 volt. Uh, system. We'll go ahead and turn the lights on in a minute and then also I don't know if it has blinkers. I, I didn't check oh. but hit the horn. <laughs> if we're gonna run blinkers I think actually if you look underneath there if you feel underneath there there's two underneath the dash mm -hmm. up high. There's a couple I don't know if you can see them. There's two toggle switches 
what over there way on oh. the left. There's that one's for the fuel. Don't touch that one. Okay. That that's to turn the fuel pump on. And then way over on the left, uh -huh. right there, there's another toggle switch. You feel it? All the way over there. Oh right there. yeah. I think that might be blinkers, but we'll try it here in a minute. Okay. But we'll look at the engine on the other side. Go ahead and rev it up. And we'll take the peak on this other side. And the lights are on that switch way over there. Doing the one hand thing here. If you guys need help selling anything, let us know. We don't like to do smoke and mirrors, so if you like to do that, don't call us. But if you need help selling um, a rig, just give us a jingle and, and we'd be glad to help uh, sell it on Bring a Trailer. And we've had 267 cars on Bring a Trailer, which Mrs. Denworks has been involved with every one of them, but with, with her new account, uh, she's just having fun buying cars too. I think you've got six? I think I've got six in now. Yeah, yeah. so it's awesome. So you can see here, there's the Again, it's not titled off the engine, it's titled off the VIN that's under the floorboard and you'll see a picture of it. But again, it's running on alternator uh, as well. So I love the look of that engine in there. It's just cool. This car is so cool. Very cool. It. So go ahead and uh, you hit the horn already. And then we got lights. Oh, one more. We got headlights and then go halfway in. And then we got marker lights. You can see the markers up there. See if we got blinkers though on that little switch. Oh yeah, got left and we got right. So that's cool. And then back here, we've got tail lights, brake lights. Are, they, are you on the brakes now? Yeah. Oh, brake lights and then blinkers. There's a left and a right. So all that stuff is working and it's just a neat car. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and leave it running and hop out and we'll show you the interior real fast. I'll just put the hood down. You can see here they put little rubber things just on the edge of the hood there. And I'll lower this one down. Just a nice car. If you got any questions, just call us too. Would be glad to help.